characters and things that are... Go on a little adventure. Very much so. Uh, I get lost in my attic. That's why I don't go up there. But you, you ignore your attic at your own risk. Kerry Tidwell's here. He's the general manager of ARS Rescue Rooter. And, and proof, more proof that uh, Rescue Rooter does more than what you may think they do. This one, I, I tend to think in terms of energy dollars when I hear that thermostat click on and off. That's, that's one aspect of it, but keeping it from doing that is another aspect, and we need to look up, right? <laughs> you, well, you're, you're exactly right, Tracy, and a lot of people don't think about the attic, and, and really the attic is probably one of the number one enemies of your, your cooling system. Well, if you, system. If, I mean, a lot of people might, I'm, like I said, I am a little bit nervous with my attic. It's big, it's dark, it's, I think there's things up there that are un unwelcome guests that aren't paying rent <laughs> and chew on things. I'm dealing with that. But I look up and I see I have about that much insulation, so I think I'm adequately insulated. But uh, is, there a, is there a formula for the size of the house or the attic? Or? Well, there is, and actually that changed not too long ago. Last couple, three years, that changed oh. here for the state of Indiana. Um, what you have here, I mean, you got, if you can imagine this being just your attic, you sure. got your rafters right underneath this yeah. insulation level. And w it used to be about R22, R19, R22. So you can see this is about what the old level used to be. Okay. That's raised to an R49, which, you know, if we can just open yeah. this up here, you can see right there. That's okay. about, where your, that's about oh. where your insulation should be. So, I mean, this is, this is okay, but if you really, really want to get some energy efficient uh, efficiency out of your system and help protect your your uh, your your heating and cooling costs. Mm -hmm. You really want to get some more insulation in okay. there. Okay. Is there how how can we prove that that's that, that it's that it's enough? Just it's not just a matter of inches, or it's the, depending on the type of insulation you well, have to put in there. Well, it, well, some of it's insulation, how much it settles over time. Mm -hmm. But at ARS Rescue Rooter, we'd come, we would inspect your attic to see where you're at, what level you're at, and then we would go up there. We actually take this out, and we would show you right there at that time, and then. Our gentlemen would go out there and they would blow the insulation into the attic to get mm -hmm. you up to this level, um, to the R49 level. And what, what do we have here? What do we have there in the back? Well, ARS Rescue Rooter is a, takes a three-pronged approach to your attic. Okay. okay? Insulation is one, which is you can never go wrong with the more sure. insulation, the better. You we, can't overdo it. You, you can just underdo it, right? That's okay. right. That's right. We have a three-pronged approach. And the second approach is what we call radiant barrier. This is where we spray... Um, the, the decking, the under decking of your attic, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is to help protect the insulation from getting into one of your soffit vents. So that's what this is for here. Okay. And then this, this acts like a sunscreen, Tracy, for oh, your all right. home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, for people who don't know the soffit vent, you do need some circulation in there. You can't, I've, I've known people like, oh, I had these gaps and I filled them in. No, that's, that soffit is there for a reason, right? It's got to let your attic breathe. It is, it is, because lots of times when people's attics get really, really hot, Tracy, what mm -hmm. they do is instead of doing this three-prong approach, they'll just throw in an attic fan. Okay. okay. And what happens is if you don't have proper ventilation coming in, and you turn this big attic fan on to cool the attic off, mm -hmm. you create a negative pressure. Now you pull cool air up through your can lights and things like All that. All those so little like, gaps that add up. Okay. That's right. So now you're paying to heat your, or cool your For attic. For your attic, which we don't want to do. You also came armed. I did. He's got a gun. He's got a gun, people, but don't, don't panic. He, he knows how to use it. Yeah, and, if, and if, what I'm going to do is just demonstrate the difference between the radiant barrier. This would be a normal sure. uh, attic. Sure, looks, looks like mine. And, uh, better, you, better lit, but looks like mine. You can kind of see the temperature there. It's well oh, over 100 digits. degrees. Okay. okay, yeah. Over here. 70, oh, that's comfortable. See, I, whenever I have to go up in the attic, I get out of there quickly, especially this time of year, because I think I'm going to dehydrate it could be potentially dangerous that's comfortable that's that's a living condition yeah that's our goal amazing. is our goal tracy is to try to get the attic about the same temperature as outside because mm -hmm. then you're not that when that hot air gets in there it wants to go where it's cool mm -hmm. okay and it wants to force its way into your home and that's what will hike up your energy bill so Having this three-prone approach done um, can really, really help and save on your energy bills. Now, somebody like myself, I might want to go ahead and go up into my attic and look and do some measuring, and that could, then I could call you with those numbers. Or if, if, if you're a homeowner that doesn't even want to deal with it, you guys will do all the dirty work in the climbing and stuff, right? We will. We will. We get up there. That saves you from having to get on, on, on ladders or, you know, attic steps or things of that nature. I mean, our guys are very highly trained on how to go up there and do all this, and they can take care of it all for you. And, and we're talking significant savings over the course of the lifetime of your home. You, 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 absolutely. I mean, there's lots of different quotes out there, but, you know, it's, it's uh, it, you can, 30, you know, some people talk about 30, 40 percent saving on your operating costs. I oh, mean, that's obviously, significant. Obviously, yeah, sure, it's gonna... each year is different based on, you know, obviously last year was much warmer than this right. year, but your true operating costs 
Huge savings. I'll, I'll take 30 to 40, or 40. I'll take 30. I'll take 20, <laughs> 10, 15 even. Thanks so much. Appreciate that stuff. Thank you, sir. We've got the link to ARS Rescue Router on our website, anystyle.tv. Not necessarily the sexiest project, but let me tell you, lower energy bills, Andy. Hey, that, that's all that counts. Every dollar saved. What do you, you know